Mabuhay! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we will learn the operations on rational numbers. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel below this video. Okay, let's begin. What are rational numbers? According to Mr. Google, rational number is defined as a number which is written in the form P over Q, where Q is not equal to zero. In other words, the rational number is defined as the ratio of two numbers. Example, fractions. Fractions are rational numbers because from the definition of rational number, rational number raw is defined as a number which is written in the form of P over Q, where Q is not equal to zero. What will happen if Q becomes zero? It becomes P over zero. And let us assume that the value of P is one. It will become one over zero. If this could be the case, one over zero, this is not correct because any number divided by zero is undefined or it is infinite. Infinite, the symbol is this one. Again, rational numbers are numbers which can be written as a quotient of two numbers. Example, two pif. Two fifth is a rational number. Rational number can also be written in a form of ratio. Example, one is two, two. One is to two is a ratio. This can be written as one over two or one out of two. Therefore, this one is rational number. All right, let us now proceed with addition of rational numbers. Let us have an example. Number one. Oh, tingnan natin. Example number one is one fifth plus three fifth. In this example, the two fractions have the same denominators. They are called similar fractions. Uh, this is equal to, just write down the denominator and add both the numerators. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 over 5. Uh, example number 1 is 1 fifth plus 3 fifth is equal to 4 over 5. Simple, kapag kaparehas ng denominator, adin lang ang numerator. Yun na ang ating sagot. Okay, let us now have another example. Example number 2. Sulat natin. Example number 2 is 4 pips plus 2 and 2 third. Yan. 4 pips plus 2 and 2 third. In this example, meron tayong mixed fraction. Bago natin ito i-add, change muna natin ito sa improper fraction. Kopihin muna natin yung 4 pip. 4 pips plus 2 and 2 third. How to change this to improper fraction? O simple lang, 3 times 2 is 6. Then add the numerator becomes 8. Okay, 8 over 3. Ulitin natin, ano? 3 times 2 is 6, plus the numerator 2 is 8. 8 over 3. Kokopihin lang yung denominator. Ayan, pwede na natin siya ngayong i-add. Uh, this time, they have different denominators. Kapag ka magkaiba ang denominator niya, First step is find the LCD. I will teach you the simplest way 
how to add fractions with different denominators. Fractions with different denominators are called dissimilar fractions. First step, find the LCD or the least common denominator. Finding the least common denominator is just multiply the denominators 5 and 3. 5 times 3 is 15. But sometimes, when you multiply the denominators, may makukuha tayong sagot, pero meron pa palang mas maliit. Makikita natin yan mamaya. Okay, let us continue. This is now equal to, the LCD now is 5 times 3 is 15. O, kopihin na natin yung plus sa gitna. Next, 15 divided by 5 is 3. 3 times the numerator 4 plus 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 8 the numerator. Or this is now equal to 3 times 4 is 12 plus 5 times 8 is 40 over the denominator which is 15. Next, 12 plus 40. Uh, this is now equal to 52 over 15. Okay, our answer is in the form of improper fraction. Let us find the simplest form of this answer. How to find the simplest form of this improper fraction? This is the procedure. The denominator is 15. How many 15s can we get from 52? If we get 3 15s, will give us 45. Lakihan pa natin. 15, apat na 15, ang kukunin sa 52, apat na 15 is 60. So, hindi pwede. Mas malaki kesa sa 52. Sa makatuwid, we can only get 3 15s from 52. O, yun na yung whole number natin, 3. 3, tatlong 15 is equal to 45. Isubtract natin sa numerator yung 45. Kasi kukunin natin yung 45 dyan, yung tatlong 15. Pag kinuha natin yung 45 sa 52, ang matitira na lang ay 7. Okay, copy the denominator 15. Now, now, 52 over 15 is equal to 3 and 7, 15. This is now in the mixed form. Check natin. 15 times 3 is 45 plus 7 is, ayun, 52. 52 over 15. O, siguro, maliwanag na, no? Additional fraction with different denominators and with the same denominators. Now, punta tayo sa subtraction of rational numbers or subtraction of fractions. Let us have an example. Example number one. Example number one is 3a minus 1a. Yan. Pareha siya ng denominator. This is called similar fractions. Pagka magkaparehas ang denominator, ang tawag natin sa kanya ay similar fractions. O, this is equal to, kapag ka similar fractions, kopyahin lang ang denominator. At yung ating operation na minus, o, hindi na yung operation kasi pwede na natin siyang direktang isubtract. 3 minus 1 is 2 over 8. 2 over 8 is not yet in the simplest form. Uh, let us find the simplest form of 2 over 8. 2 over 8. Mag-iisip tayo ng number na divisible by 2 and also divisible by 8 at the same time. Ibig sabihin, number na pwede natin i-divide sa 2 at saka sa 8 ng sabay. 
what is that number? Alright. That number is equal to 2. Divide natin ng 2 yung ibabaw, ganun din sa ilalim 2 pa rin. Para yung numerical value ng 2 as ay hindi magbago. Now, 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 and 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, the simplest form of 2 eighths is equal to 1 fourth. Yan. Ganyan ang paraan ng pag simplify niya. Changing or finding the simplest form of a given fraction. Another example ng subtraction. Example number 2. Uh, here is example number 2. 3 fourths plus parenthesis 5 over 6 minus 1 half. O, ayan. Example number 2. 3 fourths plus parenthesis 5, 6, minus 1 half. Ang natutunan natin sa ating order of operations, uunahin natin ang first rule yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, kopihin natin ang 3 fourths plus parenthesis. Ito muna ang nasa loob, 5, 6, minus 1 half. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, ano? na kapag ka multiply natin yung denominator, May makukuha tayong sagot pero meron pa lang po pwede na mas maliit pa sa nakuha natin. Ito na yon makita nyo. Find the LCD. Ang sabi natin kanina, multiply the denominator. The denominators are 6 and 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Ayan. Pero, there is still another number smaller than 12 which can be divided by 6 and by 2 at the same time. What is that number lower than 12? That number is 6. Ah, tuloy na natin. 6, ilagay muna natin yung minus sign sa gitna. 6 divided by 6 is 1 times the numerator 5. Ayan, ah, minus na. 6 divided by 2 is 3 times the numerator 1. This is now equal to, kopyahin natin yung 3 fourths plus 1 times 5 is 5 minus 3 times 1 is 3 over 6. Ah, this is now equal to, 3 fourth, kopihin ulit natin, plus, oh, pwede nang isubtract yung 5 and 3. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 over, kopihin ulit natin ang denominator. 2 over 6. A. 3 fourth plus 2 over 6. 2 over 6 is a proper fraction which can be, or which can be simplified. The simplest form of 2 6 is 1 third. Why 1 third? Uh, sulat muna natin, ano? 2 third o 2 6. 2 6. Mag-isip kayo ng number divisible by 2 and 6 at the same time. That number is 2. Divide natin siya ng 2 parehas. 2 divide by 2 is equal to 1 over 6 divided by 2 is 3. Therefore, the simplest form of 2 over 6 is 1 third. Palitan na natin siya ng 1 third para mas madaling mag-add. O, kopihin natin, ano? This is now equal to 3 fourth plus 1 third. Alisin na natin yung kanyang parenthesis. Ito, mag-add na tayo ngayon ng 3 fourth plus 1 third. Paano natin ngayon i-add yan? Tuloy-tuloy lang. Uh, this is now equal to find the LCD. 
the LCD of 4 and 3 is what? Multiply natin. 4 times 3 is 12. Meron pa bang mas maliit sa 12? Wala na. O 12 na is the LCD. Sulat natin yung plus sign sa gitna. 12 divided by 4 is 3 times the numerator 3. Ayun, plus ano? 12 divided by 3 is 4 times the numerator 1. Uh, this is now equal to 3 times 3 is 9 plus 4 times 1 is 4 over 12. 9 plus 4 is equal to 13 over 12. Alright. The answer in number 2 is 13 over 12. To change this to mixed fraction, ganito ang gagawin natin. Ilang 12 ang makukuha natin sa 13. O, oh, ba Isa lang. Kapag kakinuha nyo na yung isang 12 sa 13, may matitira pang isa. At yun ang ating numerator. Kopyahin na lang ang denominator. Then, the mixed Fraction of 13 over 12 is 1 and 1 12. Let us check. 12 times 1 is 12 plus the numerator 1, 13. O 13 over 12. Okay, malinaw na? Now, I will give you exercises. Makikita nyo sa harapan ng inyong screen. Ayan. And I will give you time to answer. O ngayon, here are the answers. Pagkumparahin nyo kung tama ang inyong nakuhang sagot. I hope na today, marami po tayong natutuhan about operations on rational numbers. At uh, isusunod po natin ang multiplication and division of rational numbers. At uh, don't forget to subscribe below the video. Muli po, isang magandang araw. Bye-bye!